As hard as we tried, our cameras could not capture the true beauty of this place. To really experience the sights, the sounds, and the smells of the super bloom at Carrizo Plain National Monument, you have to visit in person. That said, I'm going to do my best to show you around this remote and not-so-developed national monument. You're uh, definitely going to want a high-clearance vehicle here. Yikes. Carrizo Plain National Monument is a 200,000-plus acre protected grassland and one of the largest in the state. To the east of its boundary is a sea of Kern County oil fields, and to the west are the crowded coastal towns of San Luis Obispo County. But to the center of the National Monument is a whole lot of nothing. The monument is mostly dirt roads. There's a little bit of paving as you come in, and then once you get down another mile or so, all the roads are dirt. Carrizo Plain is the kind of place you go to get away from it all, to smell the flowers. And John O'Hurl with the Bureau of Land Management can pretty much name them all. The hillside daisies, which is the tall yellow one, they kind of follow the sun. And then we have the tidy tips, and this is a phacelia. The reason that these flowers grow so well in this area is because of its remoteness. Long before it was designated a national monument, Carrizo Plain was a sacred place for Native Americans. Images on this outcropping, known as Painted Rock, date back three to 4,000 years. Painted Rock is an area that was used um, by the, the Shumash and other tribes that use this area, and it has uh, pictographs in the inside. Painted Rock is off limits most of the week to preserve the pictographs and also to protect the wildlife, like the burrowing owls and the endangered kangaroo rat who dug this hole. It's a big hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, they're about 100 to 120 grams. Okay. Do you think he's sleeping right now? Or are we probably waking him up? Or Yeah, they're sleeping. They're nocturnal, so they come out at nighttime. And um, yeah, they'll be hopping around up here on the, on the surface. In the late 1800s, the land here was taken over by dry land farmers who grew crops on the dry soil and used giant harvesters to work the fields. A successful crop was dependent on the rain, and that's tough because there's little to no groundwater under the arid soil. It was all based on the rainfall. So if you got a good crop, a good rainfall, you get a good crop, and then a lot of times you win. So it was kind of boom or bust. The little bit of water that does flow into the monument can be found at Soda Lake, but it's not exactly drinkable. Tastes a little salty. <laughs> there you go. And under the hot summer sun, it doesn't last long. The Soda Lake is an internal basin. A lot of the salts and everything leach into this lake. When the, it evaporates, the water evaporates, it leaves behind this uh, sodium. As farming became less profitable in the area, much of the land was sold to conservationists and the federal government. President Clinton designated Carrizo Plain as a national monument at the end of his term in 2001. And then the wildflowers and native plants began taking over again. Dozens of species or about, I don't know. Hundreds. Hundred, yeah. Hundreds of different species. Yes, yes. As the sun rises over the valley floor, flowers follow its rays. First to glitter bright with color are the low-lying flowers. And then as soon as noon hits, the hills and the mountains come alive. I'll come to work in the morning and I'll not notice the flowers and then when I turn around and come back on a road, you'll just, it'll be just vibrant. Those mountains are what isolate Carrizo Plain. Formed by tremors and quakes, the mountains here are a result of the San Andreas Fault that runs right through the monument. It moves like, uh, like two inches a year, but we get major earthquake events every 200 to 250 years. Wildflower season is short, only lasting a few months during the spring. And as I said before, the pictures here don't do this place justice. You really have to experience it for yourself. From the Super Bloom at Carrizo Plain National Monument, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.